This is Sean, and I'm going to be showing you the vacuum and fuel lines on a new scooter that should be replaced if it's a crated scooter. If it's from a dealership, this has probably already been done, and you don't need to worry about it. So first, let's look inside the engine bay. Over here, you will see the fuel line that comes off of the fuel tank nipple runs across and down to the fuel line. This is correct in that it has a downward angle. From there, the fuel line runs off of the fuel filter down to this silver disc, which is the fuel valve. This is actuated by a vacuum line that runs off of the intake manifold. We'll get to that in just a minute. From there, the fuel line comes off of the fuel valve, runs down along here, and downward into the inlet at the bottom of the carburetor, which you can't see because it's underneath the auto choke. But it's easy to get to if you're going to replace it with new lines. <clears throat> now the vacuum lines can be rather confusing. This is the intake manifold that provides the vacuum to the vacuum lines. Coming off of this nipple is a line that runs to a T intersection. Off of that, a line runs over to the right side of the carburetor and actuates the cut valve. This is a valve that prevents the scooter from backfiring when you turn the throttle off on deceleration. So you needn't worry about that unless you're experiencing backfiring on deceleration. Off of the other side of the T comes a vacuum line that runs over to the vacuum valve, the vacuum fuel valve. When the scooter is started, this provides a vacuum that pulls on a diaphragm inside this disc and opens up the fuel line and allows the fuel to run into the carburetor. All of these lines can be a potential for vacuum and fuel leaks. That's why it's recommended that they be replaced. This particular junction here, the T inner junction, you can see all of the clips on it, is a particular source of vacuum leaks. So it this can be later replaced, but for right now, it's just a good idea to replace all the lines and make sure that the clips are nice and tight. On the other side of the intake manifold is another vacuum line on some of the newer scooters, and this runs the EGR, or the Exhaust Gas Recycling System. That should also be replaced. It runs back to this canister at the back right of the scooter, because it can also provide a vacuum leak which will affect the vacuum in these other lines. So all of these lines are a potential for problems in a new crated scooter. As I said, if it's a dealership scooter, this has probably already been checked and replaced and not need be worried about it. Thank you.